On this channel I do makeup tutorials, vlogs, and sometimes funny challenge videos. Um, I really do want to do a Q&A pretty soon with my husband. If you guys have any questions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. They could be military related, they can be funny, they can be personal. I'll answer them. We'll answer them. So if you're not subscribed already and you're into all that stuff, Go ahead and subscribe but today's video is about this Valentine's look that I created and it was really out there for me and I enjoyed it and I really hope you guys do too if you guys are ready to see how I got this look then just keep on watching so I'm just gonna go in my Too Faced chocolate bar palette and take the strawberry bonbon color which is just a pink this is gonna go in the crease just for our transition color you might not even be able to see this shade after all the other shades are piled on, but this is just a good starter shade. I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone for this look. I'm going to try and use um, a lot of colors, a lot of pinks, obviously, for Valentine's Day. But I'm, I'm trying to do something different, and we're just going to see how it goes. Moving to the Carly Bybell palette, I'm going to take... This one right here, which is like a taupey-ish gray color. And that will also go into the crease. And this color I'm dragging out. Moving on, I'm gonna take Simply Marlena. This is from Makeup Geek. And this is also going into the crease a little below those shades just getting it to the um, darkest I want it to be and then going back in with that first brush just blending out those harsh edges Now it is time to cut the crease. We're gonna start from the inner corner and stop midway or like kind of all the way. And I saw this trick on a, like a Instagram story on the Explore, and I saw this girl apply the concealer right here on the very edge, and then she looked up, and that's where uh, she made her cut crease. So I'm gonna try that out today. Hopefully that works for me. Right, so I'm gonna do the edge and look up. There. So that is where we shall cut our crease. Now I'm just going to set it down with the white powder even though we're going to go over with a different color. I just don't want it to crease. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so we look hella crazy right now. But I'm going to add more pink to the uh, <clears throat> outer half. And on that outer corner, I don't really care about this outer part so much. I'm gonna add this uh, Lala shade from ColourPop. I don't know what this will do for the look, but we're just gonna do it anyways. This is gonna go right where we set the um, matte shade. Not crazy about it. Not crazy about it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye, see how I feel about it after. So I just did the other eye and it's looking a little better. I kind of like it, but like I said, I'm just gonna add some more of this pink to kind of fade it into the Lala color. Just kind of flicking it. 
And then again, blending those edges and don't worry about the side. We're going to clean that up, sharpen it up a little bit. I do love that Lala shade, but I want to kind of amp it up a little bit. And this color in the Carly Bybel palette is just trying to speak to me. So I'm just going to tap it on with my finger. Ooh. Yowzas, I don't know. I'm just going to put it on the outer edge, see what it does. So it's kind of like um, adding some dimension. I'm going to actually add that color on the lid because I kind of love it. So I'm going to put it all over. So I'm going to add a colored liner. I do not own a colored liner, but I have seen a lot of people use uh, liquid lipsticks. So I decided I'd use one today try it out hoping that it does not ruin this look um, this is the ColourPop ultra matte lip in limbo so it's like a brown red I'm really hoping it'll look good with this look if not then I just ruined this whole thing because it looks so cute so I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand I was able to do it, but as you can see, my wing's a little cray. Hopefully, I can fix it. If not, too bad. I'm going to do the other eye off camera so I can focus. Um, I think it looks good still. I actually applied my uh, mascara and lashes because the eyeliner, I could not get. Like, do you see this? It's just not happening, so I had to see it with lashes. Um, it looks good just I can really see that like it's irritating me but I'm just gonna let it slide and move on to the face maybe we can like fix it later I don't really care about it right now so I'm gonna prime with the master prime blur and smooth primer from Maybelline I do like the liner it's it's not that different from black but it's you can tell that it's a different color guys I found a new nail lady too you guys see that can you guys see that cute, Oh, like she did so good, like she took forever, but like in a good way, like each nail she was like inspecting, which I really appreciated, so I will be going back to her all the time. For foundation, I want to use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in 128 Warm Nude. I love this foundation with all of my heart. I'm blending this in with the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So good. Oh, hell no! Oh, I forgot to ask you guys, what are your guys' plans for Valentine's Day? Are you guys single? Or do you got a man? Or a girl? My plans for Valentine's Day? <laughs> your girl don't know. All I know is I will be making some chocolate covered strawberries and truffles. Um, they're bomb, just FYI. And very romantic, so I want to make those for my hubby. I'll probably vlog even though I have no idea what we're doing. For concealer today, I will be taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealers in light and fair neutral. These are the two lightest shades, I believe. Blending that in with my Sephora like angled brush. Taking my Fit Me powder in translucent. For bronzer today, I'm taking my Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. This is really dark for me, so I just take a little bit and just swirl it in the cap. To contour, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild like duo contouring palette 
Just going to contour out those cheekbones. For blush today, I'm going to use this Tarte Endless Blush right here. I'm just going to take a light amount. I'm going to go back to that lower lash line. And I'm going to add a brown in my waterline. I'm not adding pink, I'm just taking whatever was left on the brush. The two combined make like this smoky brown, I love it. To finish off the eyes, well besides the, uh, you know, high, inner corner highlight. Just gonna add some lower lash mascara. Since I already have the palette in front of me, I guess I'll just use one of these highlighters. I'm gonna mix this gold one with the pink because that looks cute. I'm taking my BH Cosmetics 28 color lipstick palette and I'm gonna take most likely this third one. I need more nude lipsticks in my life, guys. Let me know what your favorite nudes are from ColourPop or just in general. And I'm just gonna take um, this one in the far corner, take a little bit and push it into the center so that completes this video thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to give it a big thumbs up also if you guys recreate this look let me know down in the comments I would love to see it um, but that's it I hope you guys enjoy your Valentine's Day single or not and I'll see you guys in my next one bye looks good though yeah it's very pretty. You don't know, sip it. Do you just sip it? No. Sip it. No. Babe, sip it. Cali represent. Represent. Cali represent.